What's up Team Buckhouse, Jonathan Buckhouse here. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about lenses, goggle lenses. What color should you wear? When should you wear a highlight, a midlight, a low light? How many should you own? How do you take care of them? We're gonna cover so much stuff because there's a lot that comes to snowboard goggles that you guys probably don't know. So before we jump in tint and all the VLT and stuff like that, we gotta talk about just maintenance, goggle maintenance. How do you keep your goggles from getting super scratched? Now I know there's a ton of you guys watching this video right now that you have like seven trillion dings and stuff and your lenses are just destroyed from bad maintenance. One of the biggest and common things people do is they just leave their goggles dangling from their helmet. They never put it away. You know, they take their helmet off and they just let their goggles bang around with their helmet. Like that's that's horrible, don't do that. This, this stuff's expensive. So I have a saying from face to chamois when you take your goggles off or your lenses out, immediately stick it in a chamois. These things come with your goggles for a reason, not only to wipe off water and stuff like that, but to make sure that your lenses just don't get scratched up in your bag or in your car, things like that. Now let's say you take a digger, you have a yard sale, your stuff goes everywhere and in the inside of your lens gets covered with snow. What you don't wanna do is take the chamois and wipe it in there. What you're gonna do is you're gonna wipe away your anti-fog. You don't wanna do that because then the next time you go riding, you're gonna get fog in your, your, your lenses and you're not gonna be able to see. And visibility is the most important thing on the mountain. If you can't see where you're going, what you're riding, you're gonna eat it. And that's another reason why we gotta talk about these goggles. So the way you get that, that water, everything out of there, go to a bathroom with a hand dryer and blow it out. That's the best way to get it out or wait it out. Another thing I like to do is I will throw it in the chamois without wiping it and kind of just like put it in my pocket and it, it just keep it warm and eventually it like slowly dabs it. Like dabbing is way better than wiping. So that's another trick that I do. The other thing to prevent goggle fog is don't leave your goggles in the car. What happens is you come out riding, you make some clouds in the air or whatever, and then your, your, the foam gets a little wet or you sweat a little bit. And when this foam is wet and you leave it in the car, it doesn't properly dry. The next day you come out, you have moisture, not only in the foam, but between the lenses. Most goggles have two layers and moisture will get in between the layers coming from the foam and everything like that, which will cause fog on the mountain. So if you ever come out in the mountain, you're like, it's fogging so bad, but it's like not on the outside, it's on the inside, it's in between the lenses because you got moisture in your your goggles. So bring your goggles inside when you come on a three day trip or whatever, bring it into the hotel, pull them out, make sure they dry so the next day you go riding, they don't fog on you. So when it comes to goggles, I put them in a Joe Blow category of you have your highlights, your mid lights, your low lights, and then your clears. Clears are their standalone. Now what makes a goggle a highlight or a low light is the VLT, the visible the visible light transmission. So what that means with the VLT is the lower the number, the darker the lens is gonna be. It's gonna be a highlight. So a bluebird sunny day, you're gonna wanna rock a highlight lens. A day like today where it's kind of like, kind of blue, kind of cloudy, we're gonna wanna go with a mid-light lens, something like this. That's gonna be in the middle range of the VLT. On a cloudy day, a snowy day, when there's no sun available, you wanna go with a low-light lens, and a low-light lens will have a very high VLT but you want one that has still has a little bit of VLT because if the sun does poke through, you don't want to be blinded. And then if you're in the Midwest, the East Coast, any place that has a lot of night riding or if you're riding in the snow dome in New Jersey, anything like that, you want to want to rock a clear lens. The clear lens is awesome, but if you rock this on a low light day and the sun pops through, you're gonna have a bad time. Now, how do you tell which lens to ride each day? You know, play it by ear. The more you snowboard, the, the better you'll get at it. With that being said, with my Pro Model goggles, there's these new fancy lenses that are being developed that they adjust with small light changes. So if it is sunny and then it gets cloudy, the lenses will adjust for the different lighting conditions. So you can almost see an almost every condition. It's pretty awesome. It's a bunch of technology that I don't understand, but you can definitely read up on it. And with that being said, this is a good time to plug my Pro Model goggles. If you do need a pair of goggles, these Kuno Optics, these are the Jonathan Buckhouse Pro Series, are only $87. They're incredible goggles. And the best part about them is they're magnetic lenses. So you can swap your lens super quick and easy. But the other thing is you're like looking at all these lenses, you're like, dude, that's so many lenses. And we all know the lens is the most expensive part of a ski goggle, but on Kuno, Every single lens is 40 bucks. So for the price of one high-end Oakley or any other goggle company out there, you can get the Pro Model goggles and every lens you need, a high light, a low light, a mid light. You're gonna be able to see everything on the mountain with these goggles. So not only are they sick looking, but they're incredible and they're linked in the description. So on a day like this where it's kind of hit or miss with the lighting, it might be bluebird, it might be kind of cloudy, I always go with a lower lens than a highlight 
That way, if it ends up being a little sunnier, I can live, my eyes will adjust. But if it is super flat light and I can't see anything, then I'm out of luck, you know what I'm saying? Air on the side of caution. But then that, it's kind of personal preference, you know, maybe like bright lights affect you. So maybe you err on the side of higher, but I just like to really see when it's flat light out here. Also, I know a lot of you guys snowboard with glasses. So just so you know, there are goggles out there that have over the glasses options. Like my Kuno optics that I'm rocking do have over the glasses options. They will fit over the majority of glasses out there. If you're one of those people with math, massive glasses, I don't know, but most glasses will fit under these goggles. So at the end of the day, you can be a single lens warrior. There's so many people out there with it, but I promise you, if you are getting into the sport, whether it's skiing or snowboarding, and you want to ride as many days as possible, having a different lens for the proper e occasion is definitely the way to go because it's just going to allow you to have a better time in the mountain. Let's be real. Sometimes you're on the mountain. It's hard to be out here. It's cold. It's windy. And then on top of that, you can't see anything. We don't want to have that experience, but I am not a true goggle expert. I'm just a shredder that knows a little bit. So if you know some more about goggles, please comment them down below. Let's have a conversation, help other people figure out what lenses they should get and everything like that. And if this video did help you, make sure you smash that subscribe button because my goal is to help you become the best snowboarders possible, but also join the strongest ski and snowboard community on the internet. If you do want to let everyone know you're part of this community, consider snagging an evolution snicker. And once again, my lenses, my goggles with an affiliate link are all linked in the description. Feel free to snag a pair. And with that team of goggles, thank you so much for covering lenses with, me, lenses with me today. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you guys tomorrow with another video and probably a different lens. <laughs>